Hello there and welcome back to some Crusader Kings 3. This here is our majestic as fuck royal family with King Ragnar of Egypt here himself who is drunk, uh, drunkard, son and heir. And of course our lovely wife Sophie who is actually our soulmate. This is one of the very few campaigns I've played in which our wife is our soulmate. This is with the uh, latest 1.1 version which is why the um, page there looks a little bit slightly different. Mommy is supposedly low quality. We have a lot of light footprints that would uh, contribute to such a thing. When we've got a bit more money, we are going to probably try and get some more better troops. But I want siege equipment. We only have one lot left, and siege equipment would be what I would go for. Decision available. Adopt special succession type. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to. Can we get rid of that? It's nice to have that as an option now to show up. Um, founding a holy order would be nice. What can we do with this? Level of devotion. We need devotion. Hold a king of barony empire. Have a barony with a city or castle that can uh, be leased out as their headquarters. Could give them Jerusalem, actually. Devotion of level 4. My devotion is currently at... It doesn't even tell me. Uh, faithful, devoted... Where do I see which is which? What, what tier is this? It looks like it's not the highest thing. Does it say here? Towards the next level. Yes, but is that level... I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna... I can't remember what I was trying to do last time I left off, because we, we do have a kingdom now, the Kingdom of Egypt. Oh, these are also brighter, the portraits are brighter, oh good, that's uh, that's terrific. You can tell who people are a lot more. My my daughter's the Queen of Sweden, I'm so proud of her. Uh, Princess uh, Oslog is uh, married to a future lord, Edmund, is he a future lord? No, he's not even a future lord, Edmund. We'll have to keep him uh, in mind if we do want to make a lord somewhere else, only right, my... Descendants be the ones of uh, the ones in charge. Who else we got? My son, Henry Stein, is a lord over here, a duke, good man. Anyway, let, let's get straight to it. I will uh, be having a feast probably. I do want prestige, so I can do a um, duchy war, and then maybe a pilgrimage. I'm not sure. We can work off some stress though. Where's my stress gone? Oh, it's down here now. Okay, let's uh, work off some stress. It's where he stayed for a whole year. Okay, let's go. It's good that it actually has a negative effect, though, now. Before, it was just completely positive. As I finish yet another lap around my castle, I can already feel my worries dripping off me with the sweat. Some people say I run from my problems, but I say I run towards solutions. Good man. Stress is down. Now, let's host a feast now that we are all lovely and stinky. 200 gold! That will also lose more stress. Very good. Excellent. I think we are also the most powerful man around here. Of course, there is Byzantine who is a bit... Oh, no, they're not even stronger than us. Could always go to war with you. Faded Duchy of... Uh, Cyprus would be a good one. Take Cyprus, take Crete. Yeah, take an entire island realm. We'll uh, see about that later on. For now, though, I just... Uh, let's have a feast. Welcome, friends! I think there's a way that, to see who's actually here. Ah, there it is. Your feast. Yes, who's here? Okay, a few of our lords, people declines, mayor and counts, but you know, some people here. Mayor Segura from my local land. Hey, welcome everyone. Hope you enjoy the uh, feast. Troubled vassal, the pleading gaze I received from my vassal Bjorn is taking on a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching the corner he has hidden all evening, and the walls are hindering his escape. Yeah, let's try and distract everyone, get a bit of a weak hook on this man. Can he actually pay me for that? Demand payment for the hook. 65 golds! My goodness. As the feast is underway and our guests are eating and drinking merrily, Count Andunda approaches Sophie and me at the table. It's a marvellous feast. All my compliments to the host. Well, I could give my wife some of the credit. Or we could just give the prestige to ourselves. My wife won't like it, but we could be a bit of a self-centred prick. Um, I need a new spy mask. I'm going to go for whoever is best. Although you do like these slightly more. No, we'll go for whoever's best. Fucking hell, that's a fat man. He's that's uh, true, but he's actually a butter, which is uh, a Berber man. He's the count. Over How is he a count? How did he get that? You guys better not be uh, converting culture. Also, they've changed the uh, culture mode. Looks like a hot cup of tea there, or is it meant to be a candle? Not sure, but Norse is spreading throughout, and of course, uh, Faith Asatru is uh, doing very well. Excellent. Also, this was over there now. No, it's not. And we can add map modes. Oh, good. Development, governments, terrain, counties. Let's have a look at development. Not great. Oh, Europe is obviously the best place. Anyway, uh, until next time, we uh, have gained more prestige. We can actually go for a duchy war now if we wished. 
Byzantine Empire is in civil war. Let's have a look. Two odd thousand. They do have an ally. And the man here is blind. I want to invade them. We could invade someone else, but I want to invade these guys. Now, let's see what's stronger. Is it you? You have two counties on Crete. Or Cyprus has two counties. Okay. Let's see which... Which would I prefer? I don't know. I don't know. Let, let's see... Uh, Barony of Araclio, attacks 1.8. Barony of Charnia, attacks 1.1, but of course you don't have all the stuff there anyway. Whereas you guys, Barony 1.19. Oh, 2.98 here. Looks like you are very powerful. Okay, we could go for uh, Cyprus. Land somebody there. Somebody there, perhaps. Uh, perhaps my daughter's husband here. Hagolans, they do have uh, another family tree, but sure give it to him there. It's good to see all these uh, dynasties we created now starting to get big and strong. So we do have our own uh, aristocracy here. But let's go to war with the Byzantine Empire. We do owe them a debt of blood. So let's go and do it. We can actually invade a kingdom. No, we couldn't. We don't have the prestige there. But a duchy. Oh. What kingdom would we be able to go for? Africa? No. Can we Jerusalem? We already have Syria. No. Cyprus? That's a kingdom. Crete? Sicily? No. Anatolia? That's a lot of land. Hellas? Southern Greece. Epirus. Bulgaria. No. Hellas wouldn't be a bad shout. But that's a lot of prestige I don't have. So we're just going to go for Cyprus for now. Oh, well, not the king, of course, but the, uh, the duchy there. Duchy of Cyprus. Let's go straight to war. Confirm. And declare it. Um, let's, uh, let's go to... Where, where are we? Where's my... Uh, I don't want to litter my realm with these, so I just want to have you guys over here. We'll sail straight over and take the war goal. Do still have to wait quite a while for this army, though. Right, so we're going to split you guys in half. Half of you are going to go straight over to the Barony of Nicosia. And the other half of you are going to go over to the Barony at Famagusta. My pronunciations are probably way off, but that's perfectly fine. I'm sure you guys here understand. They are quite light troops, though. Ah, Mayor Frodi has uh, given himself a position as my steward. Well, he's not too bad at it. He's just uh, converting culture there. You are converting religion. Good. I hope you go for it quite well. You can call Alice to war, but I don't need to be doing that. Negotiate an alliance with my son, of course. We'll all do that. Good. Keep him out of anywhere. Uh, yeah, again, I won't be allying my... Uh, I won't be... Honouring my alliances with people on the other side of the world. I just want to have my own stuff. Victorious and go from there. Is there anyone over here? No. No, it is not. Well, we'll just uh, leave everyone to go and kill each other. Hopefully, though, they do not get too strong. I don't want some counts there with great massive strength, do I? Sophie comes of age, my lovely daughter. She is betrothed to Ial Sturla of Smaland. He'll be a great lord one day. Oh, he's a duke. Good for him. Yeah, we'll uh, send a daughter over there when uh, when he's ready. She's a uh, good thinker. Terrible trait, so. You had a son? Yes. No, still no son. Unlock a new lifestyle perk. Well, Grace. Um, domain, ledgers. Republican vassal tax. We don't really have too many Republicans. Building costs. Oh, good. They actually have um, the uh, signs here to show you exactly what they are. I knew behind uh, before, but now I just need to uh, tell the... Simple look of an eye. Uh, golden monthly income per stress level. I, hey, 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 I don't think I want that extort. Subjects, decision, fearful troops. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything here. Levy contribution could be useful. We'll go ahead and uh, try to get that before we die. We're still relatively young, aren't we? 43. Yeah, we got a bit of time left. Now we occupy all of this land. We could try and take over... Constantinople. I think it would be a great victory if we were able to actually besiege that. Looks like he is all back together again, but he still doesn't have enough troops to deal with us. Oh shit, who the fuck are they? Who on? Oh jeez. This is why you shouldn't always play at full speed, because this is nonsense. We can't quite we can't cancel ourselves going uh to ships here. Oh, it looks like we actually might be in luck. No. Uh, can we go back to the ships, please? Please, somebody, get, get back to the ships now. No, we just uh, ran off in this direction instead. Yeah, we lost, uh, we lost how many men? 
1,200. That's terrible. And no, I won't be doing this. I will not. It's nice little papacy, though. That would be fun. What do we got to do for that? The Pope is not landed. I completely control the region of Italy yet. No. I won't be doing that. Where, where are we going? What, are we into Bulgaria? Alright, sure. I don't know why I'm losing uh, war score, though. We do hold the war goal. And he... Oh, he has actually come over to my land a little bit. Bit of an army. Okay, well, let's... Uh, Let's go back to the ships and let's go and attack his forces, get some war score that way. Excellent. Where did he end up? Where is he? He's over here in the Middle East. Let's go to uh, Jaffa. No, he's actually sailing off, so we'll wait and see where he goes. Looks like he might be going over this way. Excellent, he is. We're going to outnumber him by a fair bit, so we're going to go just land straight on his head and defeat his forces. Excellent bit of war goal there. And we actually captured this guy, whomever he is. I'm sure he's worth a bit of a ransom. A new heir! I have a new heir? Why? What happened to my son? I was given grave news. My son Henry Stein has fallen ill with smallpox. The future is uncertain. Death lingers closely by his bedside. Yet he might survive. Only the norms know. Okay, well, he supposedly can't currently inherit, which means my heir is my daughter who has children of a different dynasty. That's, uh... Yeah, I don't know why it's not simply his son who is now the heir. Oh, he has smallpox as well. Ha. Huh. Still, wh why is it not my other son here? Why on earth is, is this occurring? Oh, let's uh, win another battle here. Yeah. Excellent. If we go through, we can do a few ransoms. Could use a bit of money. Court prisoners, ransom all, please. Yes. Could try and chase them down again. Jarl, Sula, and Heistina are married. Good for them. My son has died, and that's gained me a lot of stress. However, his son is still not my heir. This doesn't make sense to me. He's taken over the lands. He is now the Duke of this area. Why is he not my heir? Realm, succession, confederate partition. All children inherit equally, but what about grandchildren? Surely they come first. If I get my crown of forest, it looks like we might be able to do this here. Huh. Yeah, looks like we may have done goofed here. I might need a concubine. Fine concubine. We do have a couple of women here. She's actually got a good trait as well. A Greek lady. Oh, Phyllis. Looks like uh, you're in luck. Minus 100. Treacherous villain. Well, we... I'm sure we'll uh, get over that. Let's just uh, sway her for now. I'm sure it'll work. And anyone else got any concubines for me? You got a concubine for me? No. No, oh, too bad. We'll destroy this army once more. In fact, that looks like it. That's, that's their entire army. This land here might be available now, so we're going to try and sail over there and not land straight onto them like we did before. We'll just uh, see what it looks like. Uh, what have we got here? Marshal assign. Yeah, succession is broken. This might be due to the latest update. Because my heir should not be my daughter. It should be my son there. Oh, I have a half-sister, of course. She's got a lord. Tibal. Lowborns, imagine that. You're my sister. Yet you are a lowborn. We could make him a highborn when we do have extra land. Maybe he could be a man of Cyprus. Alright, let's go and take their capital. There's nobody there. Five years. Oh, good. Phyllis is pregnant. Please be a son. I could use a son very dearly right now. Four years. Oh, shit. Let's, uh. Let's go fight some peasants. Are you kidding me? Why does it take us long to get back to our ships than it does for them to cross over all this land? It's absurd. It should not take us that long to get to our ships. Why has the game decided to change that with Crusader Kings 3? Because why? Why do you insist in making it longer? Like, the ships are on shore. We are surrounding Constantinople. Our ships are at the shore. It should not take us that long to get on our ships and leave. A daughter? Are you kidding me? Ah... Uh... Malmfid, sure. She's got some good traits there. 
But it, it's just absurd how the game does that to us. Uh, go for a ride. Yeah, let's go for a ride. No longer be overwhelmed by stress. Let's go and overwhelm these peasants instead. We've still got the war score. He is, however, here. Let's, let's fight him first. That's much more important. A scheme at court. My spy must come to me with grave news. While we don't yet know who somebody is trying to kill, Count Storakios. Luckily, he is protected in our realm. Now. Can you please go for a mass ransom? That'd be great. Good bit more war score there. Let's uh, follow them down and finish them off. All these lost battles have been the people I'm not even at war with. And both times they should have been avoidable. One time because we should have just not left our ships. The other time because, well, we should have been able to get on our ships. My daughter Kraka is now of age and she is betrothed to this man here. Let's go ahead and break that betrothal. Let's instead have our daughter here. Marry Matchlini. Uh, we do need just that. Let's go with uh, Precious Gain if we can. Somebody of age, perhaps. Fitzak. Doesn't look like we're going to get somebody of great age. Let's have a Fitzak. Off body. What about. Uh, Prowess, a great fighting man. Uh, let's let's sort by uh, by not lines to say. What am I looking for? Culture, Norse, religion, Asatu, and uh, yeah, we'll sort by uh, age difference of five years. We'll see what we can find. There's a man here, Freya Ailing, son of a count somewhere. Or oh, this man here of Galway, he is uh, robust. Yes, yeah, Matrilineal, of course. Let's uh, let's go through that. A little bit of prestige loss, but we do need to grow our dynasty. Excellent. We have also beaten these guys back as well. Let's try and catch up with the rest of their force. And destroy them, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, great. Let's uh, let's get these guys going over. No, oh, someone else wants to come and fight us, do they? We're going to land here in the Temple of Tinis, and we're going to go and uh, liberate our capital first. Or we're going to land wherever's fastest to get straight over to our capital. Investments in Cairo. Prestige, please. Good. These chaps here have been defeated. Enforced demands. What do we do with him? He's a Coptic Norse. Snarfari. Now. Well, negotiate release. Would you like to convert and join my court? Good man. Another child has died. Oslog. Why did she die? Natural causes? She was 21. What's a natural cause of 21? Oh, so my grandson's getting ripped off here. He should be the heir by s every law of the land. Uh, anybody around here I care to attack? We could liberate this. That would get us a victory there. Let's also... Uh, ah, he's free. Let's also um, get rid of that again. Get rid of all these. We know exactly how those battles went. Let's see if we can get our 100% back. As well as our large levies there. Thank you very much. We do like levies, and we don't like dying for your wars. Anyone else we can take as a concubine here? I uh, could use a son, perhaps, to find concubine. Here we go. She's uh, 45. Let's not do that. Ha. Aha. Prisoners, though, we could uh, try and ransom you all back again. Is there some way to invite women to my court? Invite champions, yeah, but I want to invite women. Also, let's go with working out this stress again. 98%. 99%. 100%. Excellent. Let's go ahead and enforce these demands here. Very good. We have gained two promises. I could hold one myself. I could also not. Let, let's go ahead and uh, not click on that man. Let's click on myself. And let's go to our sister here. She does have a husband and children and such. We'll uh, give Tibal. Wait, we can't give it to Tibal? Where is my. Oh, they're too far to interact with. They must have moved away somewhere. Okay, well, let's go to our daughter here with the matrilineal marriage and give it to this man. He does have a family. They do have land somewhere, but. Not you. She is pregnant as well, so he will have an heir. What do you mean I can't grant land to you? Where's. Oh, he's off. Off in their court. Is this not the matrilineal one? No, it's uh, the wrong daughter. Where am I? 
That's not me. Is it Sophie? No, it's not Sophie. Is it uh, Kraka? It is Kraka. Okay, Kraka's husband is of his own house. So we go ahead and grant him. He's a stro and Norse. We're going to go ahead and grant him the entire island here. We could make him the uh, Duke of this island. No, I, we'll give him the uh, northern half. And we'll give him a friend to uh, take over the other part. Uh, where's that chap we just released from jail? The one who rose up against me in rebellion. He's around here somewhere. Let's have a look at my court. Where is that man? He had a cool badge. There he is. Asbjorn, you there. You want to be a lord now? Good. We'll make you a lord. Makes me stressed, of course, but that's all well and good. Duchy of Cyprus. Could I create it? Yes, I could for 250 gold, but I would gain a fair bit of prestige for it. So let's go ahead and do just that. And we'll make uh, we'll make you the duke, my good man. The Yaldum over here, please. Good man. So we do have a duke over here. Excellent. What I'll do for this episode, thank you for watching. I hope uh, hope this man here can go ahead and tame the land. He will have an heir of our dynasty soon enough. She is 16. And uh, yeah, Egypt continues to grow. Hopefully we can uh, fix our inheritance. We could always go with the vote and try and vote through the other chap. But until then, we're going to try and... Until we reach 50, we're going to try and sort it out a different way. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching. Goodbye.